Ahoy Pathfinders, and thanks for joining us today as we take the time to reflect on our accomplishments over the past year, define the current state of our beloved Atlas, and showcase what we have planned for the future. We have made significant progress in proving Atlas, with various gameplay and cosmetic changes to better the player experience, and we are excited to share a little overview of what we have in the works just over the horizon. Before we reveal our new plans and roadmap for the new year, let's provide some context for the upcoming changes. Let's start by briefly touching on what we've done so far with Atlas and where we are now going into 2022. Our primary goal is to improve the Atlas experience. To this end, we adjusted our systems to accommodate all of our player communities. We updated the modular ship system to be more in line with the legacy ships, as building and personalizing your ship is one of the key experiences of Atlas. While PvP is our passion, we also care about the experience for players who do not want to fight each other. We have created ways for players to move around the world quickly, new PvE-focused content, and adding lore into the world for players to find. In addition, we are providing more islands for players to explore, new regions, and a ton of new structures for players to build. We've definitely come a long way, yet there are still some places where we can improve the Pathfinder experience even further. We've made an increased effort to listen to our supporters over the past few months, and we'll be continuing this initiative by addressing some of those issues in the coming months. We've been tracking many of the problems players have expressed, specifically modular ship system, PvP balancing, tame adjustments, and increased need for additional building structures. As previously stated, we are adjusting the modular ship system, and in the next few months, players will see a building experience that is similar to the legacy ships. We are deploying new modular ships that allow for tame hauling, the laying of temporary trade winds, and even shipbuilding. We are creating a new tame house where players are able to complete tame bloodlines. You will no longer need to care for several hundred tames at the same time. This will make taming much quicker. There are also several new water tames in the works, with details on these coming soon. New structures are being created to allow players to build harbor defenses, prevent other pathfinders from building in your territory, and even have NPC vendors visit your base. We have increased our communication with the community via our official Discord by providing suggestion and feedback channels where you can post your thoughts and upvote other ideas. We check these weekly and have already implemented several of the suggestions into the game. Along with these changes, we also have plenty of new and exciting content coming our way this year. We can expect to see an increase in our world size, additional islands, regions, and new adversaries. We will witness the rise of industrial technologies that make sense in a late 1700s to early 1800s setting. And one of the most anticipated new features, the ship in a bottle system. Finally, we are planning our much anticipated exit from early access later this year, but until then, our main focus as we approach release is bug fixes and polish. We can't wait to see these upcoming changes reshape Atlas for the better, and we are grateful to share this journey with such an amazing community. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you out on the open sea. Until then, may your skies be clear, waters calm, and cells full in whichever way you roam.